Acknowledging the land where we gather. We would like to acknowledge the traditional territories and oral practices of the Blackfoot nations, which includes the Siksika, the Pecani, and the Kainai. We also acknowledge the Sutina and Stony Nakoda First Nations, the Métis Nation, Region 3, and all people who make their homes in Treaty 7 Region of Southern Alberta. Gratitude is the highest priority. Their gratitude is directed straight to the ones who share their gifts with the world. Kimura. Students at Edgemont School have been developing their relationship with the land in many ways. Over the years, they've heard stories, they've explored, they've observed, and they've connected. Grade 3 students reflect on their relationship with the land and their community. When I'm outside, I feel free and I want to run around the whole world. When I'm on the land, my heart tells me that I'm happy and warm. Something that's important to me is when the wind moves the grass. This land is important because I live on it and the people on it welcome me. I am grateful for the lake and animals because it gives us food and water. A memory I have with the land is when I found a tree so tall it looked as if it was a mountain. I feel like a bird freely soaring through the air. Being with the land makes me feel happy because it is so beautiful. And I can appreciate the land by growing more trees. Being on the land makes me feel happy and good and calm too. I can appreciate the land by protecting the land and helping the land and using the land in a good way, like using it for food and paper and wood. A memory I have with the land is my first bike ride in a grassy field. This space makes me feel joyful and free and wild because you can run with no one stopping you. The land makes my heart feel refreshed, full of energy and full of hope. Being on the land makes me feel grateful because of the grass, the sun, and the birds singing. It makes me feel happy, safe, calm. Being on the land makes me feel curious. I'm also grateful for nature since I can make art with pine cones and play. Sky, so beautiful. My heart connection is how nice the view is. When I'm on the land, it makes me feel peaceful and joyful. My heart connection is remembering when I was playing under the big tree. Sitting on the ground looking at the mountain view helps me feel calm. I feel energized when I'm outside, jumping over the rocks. And fresh air makes me feel so happy. I show appreciation to the land by leaving it how I found it. We should show appreciation for the beautiful land because then we can keep it safe. I make sure other people are not hurting the grass or the plants. Through stories and experience, grade five students have been exploring the community's land for many years. We take time to reflect on its gifts, but as well, think about the knowledge it has shared with us. In our opening days, we went on a memory walk, reflecting and connecting with the heart places in our school community. When a student came to Aspen, they exclaimed, I love this place. She shared, that this place filled her heart with joy. She connected with it, and she remembered how she felt when sharing stories under Aspen. When I'm sitting and enjoying the sun, I feel its warmth and I feel peace. The clouds help me feel calm, but they also teach me about change. They move, they swirl, and they become something new. In Room 15, we are currently exploring the history, culture, and way of life of an Indigenous people through the story of sport. The connection to lacrosse is so deeply rooted in their culture that lacrosse sticks are placed in a baby's crib when they are born and buried with them when they die. It is also through stories such as the story of lacrosse and the great ball game that help us to better understand Indigenous people's connection to nature and the land. Through story, we attempt to bridge our personal appreciation and connectedness to the places we live. I feel connected to tall grass because when I go grasshopper catching, I go in tall grasses. The land makes me feel happy and calm because my friend moved away and this is where we played. When I'm here, it brings back memories. This land makes me feel calm. It relaxes me when the leaves rustle. 
How does the land make you feel and why? I get a lot of freedom because you have more space. Happy and calm, I get to see the beautiful plants outside. Makes me feel happy because the air is better and I have amazing views. Calm because I, I like thinking about clouds and running my fingers through the grass. How do you show appreciation to the land? Watering my garden and keep my plants healthy. If I take something from the land, I bring it back. I try my hardest to not pick off the ground and hurt plants. Being appreciative to the people around me as they are important to the land. Students used their five senses to explore the slope outside our school. They focused on what they are grateful for in nature, as well as how they can appreciate and take care of the land. The land makes me feel calm because the sound of nature is soothing. I feel adventurous because there are so many things you can do outside. If there's no land, then you won't have a home. The land makes me proud to live in such a beautiful and amazing place. We discussed what community means to us and how we should all acknowledge each other in a diverse community. Students thought about the, all the different communities they have been part of and what they appreciate about their community and how it makes them feel. I'm always amazed at the world around me, seeing the smooth rocks and the whispering grasses, all the plants. They have so many stories and there's so many more things to learn. The grass makes me feel calm. I love the sound of the grass rattling in the wind. So Kokoto shared with us about wolf willow, about how inside the seeds make beads, and the smell in the spring. Wolfville is one of my favorite places to visit here at our school.